Would you rather lick the armpit of a sweaty cab driver or eat earwax of an old man who has never cleaned his ears? Oh. That was in the previous video. Yeah, I don't... Oh. No worries, I'll skip it. <laughs> you gotta think of it. Earwax is like the natural cleaner of ears. But I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into like that question at all, actually. Would you rather be stuck in an aquarium with a great white shark or... Be stuck in a room where the floor is covered in a layer of spiders. The spiders again. Just, if you walk across the floor, you just squash them. Yeah, jump up and down. I go for the yeah. shark. You know why? Why? Great white sharks hate the taste of humans. If they right. know you're a human, they won't eat you. Yeah, but if you're bleeding... I've seen Finding Nemo, alright? I know what Bruce acts like. And he's <laughs> That's an animated movie, Joe. Yeah, but it's, it's based not on... Real. It's real to me. <laughs> I've got the inflatable, like, fucking toy of Nemo, right? I know, I know it's real. No, but what I'm saying is, once they smell blood or something... Who says you're bleeding? It just says you're in the tank. It's mm. true. Yeah, how long are you in the tank for? I don't know, it just says be stuck in there, so until someone saves you, which, if it's, if it's at SeaWorld and they know that you're in there, like hell they're gonna save you. They don't want that shit on their resume. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, imagine the news for them. It'd be very... Wouldn't be good publicity for them if you just died. Yeah, and, and they would actually be the first uh, aquarium to keep a great white shark alive somehow, because they always die in captivity. Well, let's just hope it dies when you get in there so it doesn't eat you alive. Yeah. Poor shark. So you, yeah, you guys shark. go for the spiders then. Yeah, yeah just because yeah. you can jump up and down, fucking, like, body slam them, take out hundreds at a time. <laughs> well, good luck with that. I'll, I'll go swimming with the sharks. Oh, son of a shit! Yeah, I guess it depends how long for as well. Yeah, I'll, like... I'll, just, I'll just keep my TF2 inventory away from these sharks. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> smart. Make sure I didn't <laughs> unbox any unusuals beforehand. This is like a, this is like a slide into advertising Joe's channel. If you want to prevent yourself against <laughs> Ooh, would you rather be eaten by a lion or eaten by ants? Lion. Ants is gonna take a long while, the lion yeah. is just gonna kill you instantly and then eat That's you. Like, if a lion just rips your head off, it's over instantly. But ants just slowly nibbling away at you, like, and you can feel that, like, nah. They always go for the throat, so that they they're just gonna rip your throat open. So if if your blood doesn't kill you, he'll just re re-enter your throat with his teeth and I until remember, you stop um, breathing. Have you guys seen the video of that bloke who walks around like the desert and shit and just finds deadly animals and lets them bite him? He got bitten by this certain ant, and it's like meant to be more painful than getting shot. So I heard yeah, about I think, it, but hmm. Yikes. I think I'm definitely gonna pick the lion just because it's over quicker. Probably less painful in the long run. Yes, because they're gonna start with the out the outer layer of wherever the hell they get to first, I guess. So that that's just it's just gonna suck more. Yeah, yeah. Imagine them just starting at your legs, and well, that's not gonna kill you very fast. Slowly so crawling you... up, like, you, you know what's coming and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I just hope they don't start with the groin, because, oh, dear lord. Slowly nibbling away, like, not about it. But, wait, what if it's scary sex? Like, what if you're having sex with Jabba the Hutt with Nicolas Cage's face? That's good <laughs> you. Jesus, yeah, that would. I don't know where that you. comes from, but yeah, we're, we're still you. on this. We're still on the Nicholas Cage. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I've got to bring him into everything. I love him. <laughs> I have like a body pillow and everything. Oh just, Jesus, I, I love Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage's face. Yeah. Onto it. Show a picture of you of hugging it. I don't believe you. <laughs> oh god. I'm actually, gonna have to make one now. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta live up to the <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just see that on Twitter, and, and, and then you just tweet with it. It'll make sense in probably a, few, in a, a week or longer. Yeah. Would you rather have your stomach pulled out of your mouth, or have your brain pulled out of your eye socket? Oh, God. The brain, for me, because I'm pretty sure if your brain's pulled out your eye socket, you'd die, like, instantly, because you need your brain to do everything. Yes. Oh, big dear God. Just Dear that, God! Those split seconds where it is happening, and you just see your brain coming out. Like, mm, you won't even it. see it. No, you'd feel it, wouldn't you? Like behind your eye. But then your stomach out of your mouth—that's a longer travel. 
And, and it's gonna take a hell of a lot with it. If not damage everything, yeah, like, and you're gonna die right Lungs regardless. on the way up, heart on the way up, probably. Because oh. intestines? That's oh. a bad, <laughs> bad condition. I'm pretty sure this question has been asked before, but it's still a good one. <laughs> it is still a good one, I, I suppose. It makes you think, right? Ay. Oh, God. So, Dooms, you going for brain as well? Yeah, I have to. Would you rather cut off every individual toe with a knife or pull out each tooth with pliers, including Our... molars? Okay, you know I was talking about, like, nails and stuff? Yes. Teeth is worse. <laughs> it's the exact same thing, just worse. Yeah, like, um, um, because I've had teeth out, uh, before I got my braces. Yep. And even though my mouth was numb, so it didn't hurt as much, you gotta think, A, the after of, like, going to eat and just, not, like, the pain of getting stuff in the hole in your gums. And B, you've also gotta think about the noise it makes when it comes out, because that is the yep. worst thing. Yep. It makes like this cracking oh, noise because no. it's it's snapping off of the vein, like the the nerves and shit. I I had that twice because like when I was a kid, this has traumatized me. This is the reason I hate it so much. They're taking out my teeth so I could do the braces, you know. But mm. they snapped it. Oh, what so, the tooth? Yes. So they left the root of the tooth like in your gum. They then had to take that bit out after. Oh. So you got, you got the two cracks, the blood and. Oh. And the noise uh, it made as well, because that's a bone snap it. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> it's traumatized so, me. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I think I'll avoid that one. Yeah, so, uh, yeah by toes. By toes. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably for the best. <sighs> Just, but you have to cut them off individually, like all of them. Yeah, but oh. like, that's a lot better, because you've got a lot less toes than you have teeth, Travi. Yeah, I know, but still, the, the horror of having to do that. But what if for you got machete, one toe. you kind of just went one clean sweep? Yeah, but that's not oh, going to yeah, work, that's... because your foot is not like a straight line, it has this Yeah, like... you got to think they all come out at different points, don't they, your toes? Yes. What about this, though? Um, for every one toe, there is 2.5 teeth, roughly, or 2.6, or something like that. Like... It's going to be a lot more tedious taking out the teeth. Especially with pliers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going for the toes still. Oh. Yeah, I'm going for the toes. I, I just hope sort of... that if, if there is an afterlife, that they're taking notes here for what we're going to face once we're down there. <laughs> I just look right in notes like, okay, so he wants the toes, he wants the teeth. Okay, okay. He wants to get killed by a lion, and the next day we're going to have him uh, do this to his toes. Ay. Jesus. Yeah, we're not here for a good treat. Would you rather explode or implode? Oh, oh explode. Uh, Ex I, feel like, I feel like explode, just because... How fast, though? How fast? Do we explode over a long period of time, Ooh, or yeah. like... Well, explosions quick, don't have a big build-up unless you're a balloon. Mm. If it's quick, then... Like, st slow implosion where you're just slowly getting sucked in. No. Nope. 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 Uh, nice yeah, I'll go for well. the explosion. <laughs> yeah, explosion in my yeah. opinion. Just imagine imploding, like, all you just feel your limbs slowly getting sucked into your core. Like, oh. have you ever seen, um, Lord of the Rings, where the woman stabs the Nazgul in the face? And it, like, crumples up? Oh, man. Oh, watch what the Nazgul does. This is how I imagine imploding. See? Oh, just, like, God. That's slowly not... crumples up. That's not imploding. That's not imploding, though. What's imploding, then? Because I thought it was where your, like, your whole body gets sucked inwards, and then... Yeah. Well, it still gives an ex a somewhat of an explosion, but it just happens inward. Oh. Yeah, still exploding would be a, a bit easier. Yeah, I would um, still go for explosion. Here's, here's one, okay. It's called smaller versus taller. Would you rather be one foot smaller than your current height or one foot taller than your current height? If I'm one foot taller, then... You gotta think, like, I'm I'm 5'11 or 6'0, six, six oh, so I could either be freakishly tall, like seven foot something, 
or really short. So there's no in between. <sighs> Same here because I'm six foot two. I'm like five nine, but it's still pretty bad. Like yeah, six. You could even be yeah. You'd be four foot nine if you went shorter. Oh god, no. Like that's like what year seven age, <laughs> year eight. Yeah, I've bullied my girlfriend for being short for like, how how many years? Like <laughs> you'd I, I never be able be to do it, it again. You'd never be able to do that again. I think taller, but it it. I think when you're like Trevor, you'd be what like seven two, seven three. Yes. So that I swear, there's a lot of health issues that start coming with that. Like your joints start to like disintegrate a lot earlier because they're doing a lot more work. Yes, and the clothing would be a problem. Yep, finding clothes that actually fit. Shoe size as well, because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. Your shoe size would increase along with your hands and everything else. Because I, I've never met a tall person with small feet. Yeah, me like, neither. I'm... Would you rather death by electric chair or? Death by super sexy fan art. <laughs>